All right, so now uh, let's shift gears and look at the starting rotation. And the Dodgers uh, have, like as we've alluded to throughout the show, an open spot in it because of Walker Bueller being delayed, uh, having a delayed start to the season due to his innings limit, coming off his second Tommy John surgery and so forth. Uh, with Emmett Sheehan out of the picture now, Dave Roberts said the Dodgers are basically down to deciding between Gavin Stone, Michael Grove, Kyle Hurt, and Ryan Yarbrough uh, for the fifth starter role. Uh, Blake, who is the most surprising uh, of those names? Um, For me, it's probably Yarbrough because they've also been talking about him as their swing man and how he's probably a better option for the bullpen. So to think they're still considering for, for him in that role, like I just don't really see it. I'm a little surprised Kyle Hurt's still in the mix, but like Landon Knack isn't in the mix anymore. I think Hurt has more upside, but Knack is probably a little more major league ready to take on an everyday fifth start or fifth starter role in the rotation. So I think those are the two surprising ones for me. Grove also seems better suited for the bullpen, which I guess now that I'm talking about, it's really just saying like Gavin Stone's the fifth starter. Well, Blake, you didn't have to cut ahead to the end of this discussion. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I think... It is, it is fair to say Gavin Stone has certainly been the most impressive of those four pitchers. Uh, on Sunday, he got through four scoreless innings, had five strikeouts. It was his fourth game this spring, his third overall start. Uh, Michael Grove hasn't been quite as consistent, but he did pitch well his last time out on Saturday to maybe sort of keep his name in the picture. Uh, I'll admit I was surprised that you cited Yarbrough as being the most shocking name still sort of in the mix. For me, it's Kyle Hurt just because – I know he was up a little bit last season. It was out of the bullpen. It was a very brief stint. So I just don't necessarily see him leapfrogging uh, Michael Grove, any of the three uh, other pitchers who've kind of been a little bit more established at the major league level, especially then when you factor in uh, Gavin Stone's success. I do agree with you. I don't see Yarbrough. Uh, I never thought he was going to end up part of the rotation just because the Dodgers value his versatility, and it does seem – like they are looking to uh, sort of have a, a, a loose six-man starting rotation without officially calling it one. Uh, Sebastian, I'll come to you. I'm going to ask two questions, and the answer might be the same, which is fine, but it's who do you think will be the fifth starter, and who would you personally choose for that role? <laughs> yeah, Blake kind of already beat me to it, but it would definitely be <laughs> Gavin Stone. Um, he's looked really good this spring, obviously, Last year kind of was up and down for him. Uh, kind of, we've covered before, like, kind of his injury, like, problems with his foot. So, kind of, that could have contributed to it. But this spring, you, you know, you could only grade what happens this this year, getting ready for the start of the season. He's looked really good. Uh, looked at control. Grove has, the tricky thing with Grove is that he could go through stretches where, like, he looks dominant, but it's just that consistency he struggles with. Um but yeah, so Gavin Stone would be my pick, and then for who I think would get it, and then who I want, who would want, who I would want to get it. Yeah. So you know, like we said, Gavin Stone has certainly been impressive this spring. If you look at though his his numbers this in, in Cactus League play this year compared to last spring, pretty similar. Then we sort of saw Blake. He took uh, some some lumps and some growing pains when he was given an opportunity with the Dodgers. Does that? I know we've said, you know, spring training results kind of cast them aside, whether they're good or bad. But is there any concern? Are you more confident that Stone is in better position to uh, succeed with the Dodgers this year compared to what we saw last season? I'm pretty confident on him. And I would, I'll say I was very high on him last year. But from all indications, it seems like a lot of things went wrong for him, not just statistically. But like Sebastian said, he suffered the foot injury that threw off his mechanics and made his stuff worse. Then it also led to him starting to tip pitches, which you're not going to be successful at the major league level if you're tipping pitches. And then this offseason, he also came in with additional weight. I think it was 10 or 15 pounds that he added, and it's been helping keep his velocity up. And we've seen the velocity is better than it was last year. So I'm all in on Gavin Stone. I think he's the right person for the job right now here. And that fifth starter spot, I think he's earned it. He has the pedigree. He has the upside. I think it's kind of a no-brainer to make him the fifth starter right now. Now I know some of it, it's a little bit of a a fool's question to try to project this far out, but considering how optimistic it seems like all three of us are on Gavin Stone and what we've seen, 
coupled with uh, Sebastian, you know, you kind of gave us a, a rough estimate on when Sheehan might be up or might be ready to pitch for the Dodgers. Do you see then Grove, uh, excuse me, not Grove, Gavin Stone uh, kind of taking hold of the, so it, it, let's assume he is going to be the, the fifth starter in their opening day rotation once they're about, you know, the end of March, once they're, I guess his first game would be beginning of April. Um, do you see him kind of maintaining that spot, that position in the rotation, or do you think there might be some some bumps along the way, and the Dodgers end up making a shift maybe two, three weeks into the year? Yeah, I'd say you can never really predict how these things go, but you could kind of just go. You could only go off of what the player has shown you. Um, I think if everything goes right, I think he has a. From what he's shown, he has every ability to take control of that spot. Uh, maybe if things, if he's kind of up and down then probably that opens the door for Sheehan. I think they give Sheehan a shot anyways during the se- uh, when he comes back. But, you know, I th- think from what he's shown this spring, I know we we already said that kind of spring, you kind of take it or leave it and don't put too much stock in it. But if you see the improvements and kind of take consider the context, you know, what happened last year, we've already said the injury stuff. Um, you know, you could only predict what you've seen from the player so i think he has what it takes blake if uh there if stone does stumble a little bit is it sheehan is it grove is it garbro where do you think the dodgers would maybe turn i think that depends on the timeline and who's healthy at the time like i could see grove holding a spot in the bullpen i think he's best suited for a reliever role so i don't think they want to take him out if he's thriving there if Emmett Sheehan is back and healthy and ready, he'd probably be the top option to take that spot. He could even struggle and there could be another injury where you end up putting someone else in the rotation. Like there's just so many unknowns with it. It's hard to predict that far out. Like last year we saw the Dodgers lost pretty much every starter they had and they were pulling up Sheehan from double A because they didn't have anyone else and he kind of came out of nowhere. So like that's something that could happen this year. We just don't really know. So I think Stone has a good chance to hold on to the spot, but if he struggles, I think it would be Sheehan. But again, it depends on the timeline. So, assuming uh, Grove then starts his season with OKC, do you think he'll be he'll be starting for OKC, right? You don't necessarily, or do you think he's coming out of the bullpen for them as well? Wait, did you say Grove or Sheehan? Stone, sorry, oh. uh, Grove in with OKC. Um, I think they'd still try and build him up as a starter, just because it's nice to have that option there but with the Dodgers I kind of see his role as a reliever and I think that's where he's best suited the general consensus is you don't want to give up on a starting pitcher being a starter until you absolutely have to make them a reliever and I think the Dodgers are going to kind of follow that mindset there too yeah definitely and I feel we went all this time sort of talking about uh Gavin Stone and his offseason and we didn't even mention that he committed himself to a heavy dose of Chipotle to make sure that he could uh, add some some weight and some muscle and sort of carry that through this year. So I, uh, I've asked Blake before, Sebastian, I don't know if we've discussed, are you a Chipotle guy at all or no? Um, yeah, if I have to, I'll, I'll take some tacos. <laughs> Why not? All right, there we go. I'm, I'm a big fan. I know it's not uh, authentic Mexican food by any means. I think it still is certainly very good. Uh, so yeah, that's where things stand with uh, the Dodgers looking to lock down the fifth spot in their starting rotation. They seem to be deciding between Gavin Stone, Michael Grove, Kyle Hurt, Ryan Yarbrough. Uh, as Blake, Sebastian, myself all agree, Gavin Stone sort of has the inside track, is probably the favorite to end up getting that spot. Uh, Yarbrough, I think, will still be with the Dodgers just out of the bullpen in sort of a swingman role. I think then Kyle Hurt and Michael Grove uh, open the season with OKC, but that could change for one or both of them, depending on uh, some of the injury concerns with Bruce Dark and Blake Tran. 